Hello, hello, welcome back to our YouTube channel. Welcome to another exciting lesson in additional mathematics plus maths. The next lesson that we are going to have is under the chapter differentiation and it's all about the chain rule. So how do we use chain rule? Chain rule says dy over dx is equal to dy over du. So you will notice there's another variable except from y and x which is u. But definitely u is another variable that will substitute something in our function. Okay? So, how do we apply this rule? It says dy over dx is equal to dy over du times du over dx. So definitely, there is something that will occur that needs to occur as value of u. For example, here, find the derivative of y is equal to 2x plus 3 to the power of 8. I cannot expand this. Actually, I can expand, but it will be a little bit difficult. I can expand this using expansion of a binomial, but, okay, or binomial expansion, but it will be a longer process. So what do I need to do is to apply this by substituting the value that is inside the bracket with a u. So I am going to let u is equivalent to 2x plus 3 because the one inside the bracket here is 2x plus 3. Okay? After that, I am going to get the derivative of u in terms of x. I repeat, I will get the derivative of u in terms of x. And then, there, if you are going to not notice, this one, since I let u becomes 2x plus 3, okay, or I let 2x plus 3 becomes u, then y is equal to u to the power of 8. Thus, I can also find dy over du, or the derivative of y in terms of u. Then, I will just basically multiply that to apply what we call the chain rule. So, this one is the derivative of u in terms of x which is equivalent now to 2. Okay? Next, the derivative of y in terms of u. So, dy over du. Remember, the uh, differentiation of power function, it will become 8. u to the power of 8 minus 1 is 7. So, basically, dy over dx is equal to dy over du is 8u power of 7. You multiply it by du over dx. du over dx is 2, which is now equivalent to 16u to the power of 7. But again, okay, we are getting dy over dx. And remember, okay, you have to bring back the value of the u, which is 2x plus 3. So, it will become 16 bracket 2x plus 3 to the power of 7. This will be the derivative of y is equal to 2x plus 3 to the power of 8. Next of the example that I am going to give you now is this. Find the derivative of y is equal to 2 over the quantity of 5x squared minus 1 to the power of 4. So basically, we don't have any rule about if I'll have 2 and the denominator is as complex as this. 
So basically what you are going to do here is apply the rule on your or law of indices that says 1 over a power of n is equivalent to a to the power of negative n. Thus, this will be changing into y is equal to 2 bracket 5x squared minus 1 to the power of negative 4. Okay? Therefore, I can already let u. So let's do first the method number 1. Let's do method 1. Okay, method 1. And I'll do also the method number 2, which is the cover up chain rule. Okay, method number 1 will be, okay, it will be u is equal to 5x squared minus 1. So y is equal now to 2u to the power of negative 4. Okay, du over dx is equal now to 2 times 5 is 10. So it will become 10 x dy over du is equivalent to negative 4 times 2 is negative 8 u to the power of negative 4 minus 1 is negative 5 thus dy over dx is equivalent now to negative 8 u to the power of negative 5 times 10 x Okay, thus, I'll change this u and bring back to the original value, which is 5x squared minus 1. So, it will now become negative 8, 0, or negative 80, because negative 8 times 10, times your x, then multiplied by, okay, the value of the u is, 5x squared, okay, 5x squared minus 1 to the power of negative 5. This will just be, this will become your answer already. Okay, let's do method number 2. Okay, I'll put in a box so that you will distinguish the method number 2. Okay, method 2. Again, method number two is your cover-up chain rule method. So, how do we do that? Okay. You know that this is the function. Cover up 5x. Okay, cover it up. Negative 4 times 2 is negative 8. Okay, then put in the bracket. Negative 4 minus 1 is negative 8. 5. Remember, what's inside that is 5x squared minus 1. Then, after that, get the derivative of 5x squared minus 1. It is 10x. Multiply that 10x there. Okay? Yes, I'll just use this. Or, I'll just use bracket. Okay? Remember, 10x times negative 8 is negative 80 x multiplied by 5x squared minus 1 to the power of negative 5. Okay, if you want to make it a little bit uh, pleasing to the eye, you can bring down 5x squared minus 1 to the power of negative 5, bring it down to the new denominator, then you will have negative 80x over the quantity of 5x squared minus 1 to the power of 5. Why, why can I bring it down? Because the index is negative, you bring it down, the index will become positive. Okay, I hope you have learned something in watching this video. Thank you for watching. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, and share. And also, please click on that bell button to be updated with our new lessons or videos. Okay, now... I removed the whole uh, I removed the whole working a while ago is there another way on how to do chain rule there is and it's a little bit easier than 
the previous one because I, it will not entail us a lot of working. What is that way? It is what you call the cover up. Cover up chain rule method. Okay. How do we use cover up chain rule method from the word itself? Cover up. We are going to cover up the expression inside the bracket. Okay. So we will cover up and let's think that that is the number that is equivalent to u. Okay. So let's cover that up. Okay. Covering it. And then apply dy over dx. So how do we get dy over dx over here? It will become dy over dx. Remember, 8 there will be moved here. Okay? 8, that index, let's say this is the u. Okay? Next, I'll put in a bracket. Remember, 8 minus 1 is 7. Okay, then get whatever is inside there. It's 2x plus 3. Then whatever is inside here, okay, remember it's 2x plus 3. Get the derivative of that or differentiate that in terms of x. So what is the derivative of 2x plus 3? It's 2. So, you just basically multiply it with that derivative. Okay? So, since it's 2, then 2 times 8 is 16. So, the answer will be 16 times 2x plus 3 to the power of 7. Okay? That's how easy cover-up chain rule is. I'll be giving you more examples. 